morning everyone, it's Gavin from Balls To You. In this video, we're gonna be looking at spot nose combos and obviously the main attraction for this video is gonna be the Bang Spot Nose that was produced, world's first, produced here in the UK, here at the HQ. I wanted to highlight, I thought, you know what? I wanna show this combo off. What would be a fantastic idea if we did a spot nose special, almost like a return of the morph special, that sort of thing that I used to do. I still enjoy doing and I'm still going to be doing. Uh, and in fact, I suppose you could class this as one of the morph videos. We're going to start off with this beautiful female. Very simple, just a spot nose banana heck clown female just real simple something i held back to um obviously upgrade the mom the mom i produced she's just a standard spot nose heck clown and i just thought you know what this is a fantastic female shows all the true symptoms of typical spot nose beautiful head with spot nose you get this sort of uniform pattern you get a wide dorsal stripe down the back and spot nose i find tends to be quite brighter in itself so that's just very simple uh, a very beautiful animal and again it's a spot nose banana 100% heck clown female so this animal here is the black phantom spot nose now this is the first time I've produced this animal you know we've got the black phantom in the clown which is fantastic black phantom is basically the balls to you line of phantom it works exactly like a phantom it's just very dark the super phantoms are very purple in color and also um, sorry the purple passion uh, black phantom is very purple in color and also the super phantom is a bit more how could he say very more expressionable? So there's you can see a bit more pattern and the colour's a bit more rich. So the black phantom in this is obviously keeping it nice and dark as you can see down the dorsal. It's keeping the pattern again, typical of spot nose, very uniformed pattern. I love what the spot nose does in clown. Um, I've made a few of these before. I love what the spot nose does, but the black phantom is just purely giving us those deep dark colors so that is a black phantom spot nose clown male he's stopping here at the hq to add into the spot nose clown project awesome head stamp look at that beautiful so this particular combo here is a leopard spot nose black phantom aka the nightmare batman um, this was really difficult to ID, but as you can see, the black phantom is color is basically covering the leopard gene, which we've seen in its head forms as well. Um, it's really interesting. This combo is looking forward to working with this in the future. This again is a male and a hold back, but again, typical spot nose form. We've got these uniform patterns, as you can see, and again, we've got the typical spot nose sort of style head again this is a spot nose leopard black phantom theoretical id um i've not seen a, le uh, a leopard sorry i've not seen a spot nose phantom like this and again my phantom line is darker and from the hets that i made with this combo as well it was very different so it sort of hid the leopard in its het form as well so it's something very unusual going on and I'm looking forward to working with the Black Phantom. I'm really intrigued to see what happens as this boy grows and we get him into the breeding uh, team. So yeah, Spot Nose Leopard Black Phantom, AKA the Nightmare Batman. So the next combination that we're gonna look at here has come out of the non holdback rack. This is a pastel enchi yellow belly Mojave spot nose. Now this is a boy, he's on my morph market, but I wanted to highlight how spot nose works in certain combos and give you guys something to sort of look at when you're producing these combos. Now, first of all, I know a lot of you are going, well Gav, how do you know it's got all those genes? Real, real answer is I don't. I only know through experience of hatching. And we're talking and we're looking at theoretical ID. And again, I'm gonna show you how I break it down and I see those genes that are involved. To be 100% certain, obviously it needs to be bred. But there's a lot of things that you can see which is pretty easy. Now, the first thing that will make this 
very easy to ID is that the dad was actually a super Enchi. So Enchi's obviously in there. So the other thing you'll get with Pastel and Enchi, you'll see a bit of a butterfly head stamp, as you can see there. Okay, so on the top of the head of the crown, you get this typical sort of butterfly looking head stamp. So we know there's pastel in there and obviously we can see the color. So the next question is, Gav, how do you see Mojave? Well, Mojave actually acts as a cleaner, as an enhancer, and also as a brightener gene. It keeps the blacks very black. It keeps the, the patterns separated as well. Again, I've produced these before so I kind of know what I'm looking at. Um, the Mojave keeps the pattern all under control. So the Mojave in itself is a fantastic um, gene to add into any combo. Now, yellow belly, how do we know there's yellow belly in there? So it's very simple with yellow belly when you start to add it into, collect, into your combos, you start to see this sort of blushing, this fire, all these flames coming up from the belly as you can see here we've not got the typical yellow belly checkering like you'd get from a, a standard sort of yellow belly because we've got multiple genes working but what you can see at the base of the combo here is obviously all the checkering now the last gene on the list is spot nose how do we know that the spot nose in there gav well it's pretty simple guys when you've hatched stuff over the years like i have uh, and many other breeders in the over the world, you you kind of get to know and see the general traits without even sort of knowing it, if that makes sense. So the the first thing we're looking at here, the uniformed pattern. Okay, look at the pattern. The pattern itself is trying to stay un uniformed all the way through the snake, and that's pretty indicative of spot nose look at the back stripe again remember what i said about the back stripe you tend to get that with a spot nose okay so you get that the other thing is again looking at the face we know what enchi does with spot nose it gets rid of a it sort of cleans up the eye band but if you just gently look at the at the top half there you can sort of see it's a bit jagged which again is indicative of um spot nose so overall, we're looking at stuff, very small traits that we can see, uh, especially I can see, very spot nosy like pattern. You've got these large keyholes in the alien heads. Again, very typical of spot nose. So that's how I know there's spot nose in there. Let's get another combo out, which is even more difficult to spot spot nose. Let's go. Anyone that's come to the HQ or been to the B2U BC has seen this combo. This by far has been one of my favorite hatchlings of the 2022 season. So what we have here is just pure amazingness. Look at the head on that guys. How crazy is that head? The head looks like it doesn't believe belong to the body. But just look at that. Wow. This for me is an absolute fantastic female. Now she is, she is het for nothing whatsoever. But this female is such an, an amazing female. Um, for me, I, I, I just couldn't let her go. Even though she's het for nothing, she's a very powerful female. Let's go over the gen genetics. So this female here is a Mojave, Black Pastel, Yellow Belly, Cypress, Spot Nose. <laughs> yeah, all those genes in one female. And just look at the colours. <laughs> Absolutely vibrant. This is definitely one of my favourites. And anyone that's been to the HQ or seen this female on display has certainly agreed that this is a fantastic animal. Now, what can I do with this female in the future? Well, obviously we can breed something that's double recessive. Ultra male clown, hypo clown. We can put something like an exantic clown. We can put something ultra male to this female and again, produce something that's amazing. You know, we've got all those genes in there. You imagine this with ultra male, mind bending. So let's look at the genetics. 
So first of all, again, remember what I said about Mojave. It keeps everything black. It also enhances color. It enhances the pattern, keeps it under control, stops it from washing out. So that's Mojave. Black pastel, it's obvious we can see black pastel in there because we've got typical uh, black pastel colors in the alien heads. It almost looks hurricane-ish there, um, but there's no hurricane in the mix. So again, we can see that Mojave and black pastel have an interaction like this. It's very similar, busts it up, um, but it's still keeping the pattern under control. Yellow belly. You can obviously see there's yellow belly in this, guys. I mean, it's got a beautiful little ringer, but look at the oranges on that belly. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just phenomenal. It also reminds me of a bit of a monsoony thing. You imagine putting a monsoon to that. It's just going to be nuts. Um, Cypress. Cypress is indicative of a neck blushing. So as you can see at the back of the neck, where the neck stripe stops you've got this blushing either side of the head there blushing either side of the head which is very typical of cypress the cypress coloration on the head cypress has a very rusty color to it so that's what that is so spot nose now remember when i said that spot nose acts as a bit of an enhancer in colors you know it lightens things up another thing typical of spot nose is you get this bright dorsal stripe when you start to add dark jeans to spot nose so you get this incredible light striping due to the the spot nose that's that, that's causing that it's it's highlighting everything we've got uniform pattern it's it's sort of it's helping the mojave the black pastel and the cypress it's complementing each other every gene in this combo is complementing each other which is something that i really enjoy doing especially when you make stuff like this which is a pure accident um but yeah what an what an amazing result um a very unique different looking animal and i'm super pleased that this animal here is stopping at the HQ and we're gonna see her grow up and hopefully sit on some eggs. She has got a very, very thin, small eye stripe as well. Again, the black pastel will tend to take away the eye stripe. Um, the cypress will obviously dull it down as well. And then you've got the Mojave and the black pastel on top, which is obviously adding to that as well. So that's why we've potentially got no eye stripe or very faint eye stripe powerful animal we'll soon see as well if this animal um gives us anything else in the, in the way of genes i don't think it will i think we've nailed it on the head but yeah super looking animal absolutely awesome i was going to show the batman that i hit unfortunately he's in shed and his attitudes i'll definitely get tagged on camera but he's in shed so we'll probably feature him in another video but for now let's wrap up this video with this first to be seen on camera bang spot nose this animal for me is e60 uh, 66 percent head clown but for me as a male i'm holding him back i'm not really bothered if he proves out clown obviously it'd be great if he proves out head clown but just look what the bang has done to the spot nose now the spot nose is obviously trying to keep the pattern uniformed as i say and you can see it's trying to keep it under control but the bang hasn't really sort of taken away or made the pattern um, anything less what it's actually done it's actually added a dose of golds deep dark uh, gold colorations and yellows and just look what it's done to the head stamp just beautiful just imagine this as a super bang spot nose it just amazes me how so many people aren't working with the bang yet but i suppose that's a good thing because for me and the people who are working in the project it just means we have more time to play and make some amazing combos like this but just just imagine this with super bang <laughs> it'd just be nuts We've still got yellow belly to put in there as well and anything else some people may want to put red stripe in there as well again guys this for me is absolutely awesome i'm just super excited to see the uh, super bang combos 
but I'm also looking forward to producing some other bang combos this season, which you'll have to stay tuned for that because I've got some crazy bang stuff coming up. But just look at that, guys. Spot nose bang, posset clown male, just an absolutely awesome, awesome animal. So there we have it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it's give you some insight, I hope it gives you some help when trying to ID animals and looking, you know, has that got spot nosing, has it not? Um, hopefully this has give you some help and indications on what to look for for spot nosing your combos. But guys, I hope you're all well. Again, if you're not following me on Instagram, get over and give me a follow. Uh, guys, thanks for all your support. I love and respect you all. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hit record a jump, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming.